Hey girls, I'm Mama Girls, you welcome back to another video. Today, I am so excited to do this video. Sometimes you have moments where you're like, is this really my life? And I had this one yesterday where I was invited to the Versace store in Munich. And I had the very huge opportunity to try on and actually also take pictures and videos of the brand new Versace Odyssey, I think that's how you pronounce it, sneakers. I have so much to say about the shoes and we're gonna talk about everything including why I eventually did not end up getting them but why you will probably love them and we're also gonna do a Versace haul because honestly I cannot leave this darn store without splurging <laughs> you guys if you're interested in this video then stay tuned you could give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel this would really help me out because we are heading for the millions at least in my head but if you subscribe we are heading for the real life too we're post two videos a week every Mondays and Fridays always uploaded at 6 p.m. Central European time which is 12 p.m. Eastern Day Time. Without further ado, let's just jump right into this very Versace video. You guys, let's talk to sneakers. That's the main reason why I clicked on this video, and I know it's kind of clickbaity of me to not buy them, but do a review. She's got a point. But I did this with the La Medusa bag, and you guys enjoyed it. It's one of the most successful videos on my channel and eventually I did end up getting one, which is not just one, but the La Medusa Fendace, if I may add that. Code Fendace. But yes, so maybe eventually we will end up with these sneakers, but for now I decided against them. But let's start at the very beginning. So when I was on the way to Munich, which is two and a half hour train ride from where I stay in Austria, I got an email from the Versace online boutique slash store that they introduced the new Odyssey, Odyssey sneakers. They will drop online on the 11th of July, but I got the invitation to shop them a day earlier on the 10th of July because for whatever reason I am officially now a VIP client. Oh, yeah. Despite the fact that I work as a tourist guide in an inactive salt mine. So I ended up sending the email to my SA in Munich because I was like, we need to talk. And she told me, we don't need to talk, I can show you later. I will say the design is fabulous. It's a chunky sneaker with kind of an Air Max Air Force vibe. I would call them low rise despite the fact that they have a plateau. Do you say sole? It's just a couple of centimeters, so nothing too dramatic. They come in various different colors. As of this moment, only in monochromatic, so you have white, you have black, you have brown, that has not been shown online, but I saw it in stores, and they have silver with a little bit of white detail. They're also, as of this moment, only in the man's range. My SA actually told me that she already got complaints because women wanted to buy them too. I tried them on in the 43, which is my regular size, and they fitted like a glove. Most Versace shoes are very heavy. I reviewed some before on my channel and they were made out of straight up leather. Like this is straight up leather and they are very heavy. So after a while, your feet will hurt. These were made out of leather, but very puffy fabric on the inside. So it's almost like a cushion, I kid you not. And they're slip on, so you don't have any laces. It's not as easy as it looks, so you do need a shoehorn, unfortunately, but it is a very, very easy moment. Sneaker hats, if you watch this video, let me know in the comments down below, why do you hide your shoelaces? My little brother does it too, so I don't know why. The main focus of the shoe is obviously the Medusa hat, quite architectural details, and this is actually made out of it's like a very gummy texture. This shoe is not for the faint of heart if you dislike branding. It spells out Versace multiple times, which, I mean, let's be honest, is one of the main reasons why you're gonna buy it. The shoe itself looks very young and modern while having a very bougie feel to it. It feels luxurious and expensive and it wore beautifully. The only reason why I actually decided against them is that they're 
chunky. Like, I mean chunky. People tried to convince me that they're not chunky. I looked down on my feet and I was like, girl, that's chunky to house boots down. Period. That's just not for me. I don't see this kind of junk boot for me personally. They retail for uh, 695 euros, which for a designer sneaker is not the worst. Versace sells some for over a thousand. Will I end up spending it on shoes? <sighs> Probably. I'm a Libra and recently I am struggling with decisions like a lot but we also of course ended up splurging a little bit because there was something that I I was living for okay you should check out the vlog by the way because I vlogged the whole new collection we did end up getting something actually for the same amount of money hear me out I bought the shirt in the one and only the iconic Baroque print from as far as I'm concerned fall winter 1991 this is Versace history like this is Versace history it's made out of I think it's cotton they told me because of the print they actually have to hand cut it to make it perfect no machine would be capable of doing that it just feels so insanely luxurious this is a man sizing but I do think this is quite a unisex fit and piece obviously i would use the word essential rather than basic put it on top of jeans or maybe like a tailored pant you can put it underneath a blazer a leather jacket honestly i fell in love when i saw this comes obviously with the authenticity card i also have something that i want to show because honestly i love my sa if you couldn't tell she literally is versace, versace. she's been staying with the company for over 20 years listen we are mainly a beauty channel, so this is, like, this really, really got me. I got every single Versace fragrance in a miniature rice size. Uh, this is my fave, Dylan Turquoise, mini version of the <laughs> fragrance bottle. And I got all of them. She is literally iconic. And then, because they had this kind of little offer for very very loyal clients as far as I'm concerned. I also got a safety pin. Get that. This is a real Versace safety pin like you can use this as a safety pin. Fun fact I wore my iconic safety pin sweater. We all know this one and now we have a completely unique sweater. It's called Fashion. You guys, let me know how did you enjoy this video. What was your most recent splurge? I shared a story time here. So, let me know what was your most recent splurge. Go check out the full video. You're gonna love it, I promise. And once more, if you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, ring a bell. We're gonna see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye.